How does Copilot work in PowerPoint? Here are my initial impressions of using AI in the Office suite. Just a few days ago, Microsoft released Copilot for business and home users. What is Copilot? It's simply an AI assistant in the Office applications such as Word, Outlook, Excel or PowerPoint. In this video, I'll focus specifically on Copilot in PowerPoint. So, I open PowerPoint and go to the Copilot function in the Home tab. For me, it's the upper right corner, right next to the Designer function. I'll talk a bit about Designer too, as it's also a function based on AI. I click on a Copilot and a panel appears on the right. We can choose from several suggested options. Let's start by generating a presentation from scratch. I enter a prompt. Wait a moment. And ready slides appear. There are six of them. Now I'll generate another presentation. Not from scratch, but based on a previously created document. Here's my Word document. Two pages of long text. Now Copilot will convert this content into a short, concise presentation. Important note. The Word file we want to use with Copilot must be on one drive. Copilot doesn't see files on the computer's hard drive. This is because, as I understand, Copilot is a cloud service. So if we don't have internet access, we can't use it. OK, I have generated a presentation now. Interestingly, under the slides in the notes section, I have speaker notes. This can be very helpful. We can ask Copilot to add three slides on a specific topic. We can also ask it for specific changes on selected slides, like changing a picture. If we don't like the new suggestion, I can give a precise prompt about the exact image I want. Oh, this is great. I'll just adjust the cropping. And it's excellent. If, however, I ask Copilot to visually improve a slide, unfortunately, it won't help with that. It refers me to the designer function. And here's the important distinction. Both these functions, Copilot and Designer, are AI-based functions. The difference is that Copilot makes changes to the content, while Designer makes changes to the layout, graphics and slide arrangement. So Copilot is responsible for content and Designer for appearance. I'm not a fan of Designer function, though. This function has been available in PowerPoint for several years, but the results of designer's suggestions are, to put it delicately, not the best. I definitely trust my own slide design skills more. But OK, let's change the layout on this slide to another one proposed by designer. SmartArt has been created. Those of you familiar with my previous PowerPoint videos or my training know that I'm also not a fan of SmartArt. Fortunately, in the SmartArt Design tab, there's a Convert to Shapes function. I'll use that. Thanks to this, SmartArt transforms into shapes, making it easier for me to edit and change the style of these frames. I don't understand how Designer places some slide elements, like this vertical line. It's not available in the normal working mode. It's also not available in the master slide mode. This causes significant difficulties if we want to move some layout elements to make changes to the content. This is one of the reasons why I don't use the designer function. We can instruct Copilot to change the content of a slide. Although it may not always turn out for the better. We can also ask Copilot to create a longer presentation. For example, 20 slides. If we don't like the result, 
we can undo the change using the regular undo function. Or we can reintroduce these changes through the redo change option. Now let's see what prompts we have. There are several suggested structures for prompts divided into sections. We can choose, for example, summarize this presentation. This can be a very useful function if we want to grasp the key points of a long presentation quickly without reading the entire thing. Even though I think that because of this, the office work future may look just like in this picture. We can also input prompts vocally. Just select the microphone icon for this. Now let's see the full list of prompts suggestions by selecting the View More Prompts option. Let's do a few more tweaks using the designer function. We'll change the shape of images. And it's done. Now let's try to create a presentation based on an existing layout. So I want Copilot to create a new presentation in my company template, maintaining the logo and color scheme that's already implemented here. Unfortunately, despite several attempts, it doesn't work out as I'd like. I also tried to give Copilot a prompt to use a specific color on the slides, but unfortunately, it ignored this request. The results of Copilot's work may not always be perfect. Basically, every time we have to do manual adjustments, read the text, refine them, and their visual layer. Because as you can see here, sometimes it's completely unacceptable to show such slides to anyone. I also wondered if Copilot and Designer could handle my training slides. And these are slides that I sometimes give to participants in my training sessions for improvement. Their task is to transform them into a more professional form, while participants in my training sessions manage to turn these slides into truly aesthetic and effective slides after a few hours, designer and copilot still struggle with such tasks. Designer doesn't provide suggestions for more complex slides, however, it handles slides containing images better. Nevertheless, Copilot and Designer can be great tools to speed up work, especially in creating content for presentations. How do you like Copilot? Please let me know in the comments. And if you want to take advantage of my online course, Professional PowerPoint Presentations, check out the link below the video. And see you next time.